What's up guys, Zinigami here, guess what? Alpji is coming to the global version of One Piece Trailer Cruise. Oh yes! We did not get Zephyr yet, Alpji is gonna be our first int raid boss. That means we can finally bring out all those beautiful side characters. I know you guys have been leveling up diligently in preparation for our int raid bosses. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple ones. I wanna remember, remind you guys once again that we have our uh, optc-guide.com. You can go here, you can click on events, event archives, you can go down to Alkaji, click on Alkaji, and we have our text written guide if you want to just stop the video now and just look at this, we have everything you need to know written down as text instead just for you. Uh, but I am going to go over all the mechanics and stuff in this video also. The important things you need to know is I also have my walkthrough videos up here. You can type in, uh, well, I guess you can't type in, but I will have it linked that you can find the walkthrough videos. I have two current walkthrough videos, one that features a double Rayleigh team, one that features, Sen features Sengoku, and one that features double Mihawk. Although I do use an Int Mihawk, or two Int Mihawks in that team, you can do it with two Dex Mihawks, or one Int Mihawk and one Dex Mihawk. They all work. The more important thing about the double Mihawk teams are your size slashers that are a little hard to come by and a little hard to have leveled up properly. Um, the important thing that you remember is on stage 3 right here. Stage 3 is the super hard part for most teams. The reason is stage 3 he's going to uh, lock your captain and silence your captain for one turn. So you really want two things for this fight that will make this uh, Alpha G so much easier and that is level 1 anti-silence and level 2 anti-lock. So if you have level 2 anti-lock that will make Alpha G himself a lot easier and level 1 anti-silence will make stage 3 a lot easier. And level 1 anti-silence is going to be necessary on a double garp team because without that level 1 anti-silence your garp is going to get silenced and you're going to lose all your extra health and you're going to have a very bad time because you have to use your Marco early. You really want to use the Marco on the garp team later on during Alkaji himself. And then stage 4 is regular style and Alkaji does his things. Now here, the Alkaji has 4 million health, or uh, 4 point... Oh yeah, 4 million health. And on turns 1 through 5, you're just gonna hit Alkaji as hard as you can. Get him, get him down as much as you can, above 50% health. Ideally, within 5 turns, you're gonna get Alkaji to half health, or just above half health. After that, on turn 5, you're going to burst down Alpha G, so you're, four, you're going to attack for four turns, get Alpha G as low as you can. Turn five, you're going to use all your specials and try to kill Alpha G. And that way, if you mess up on turn six, Alpha G will buff himself, but he will not attack yet, and you will kill Alpha G on that sixth turn. So here's the mechanics right here. If you, if you have the screen full screen, you can happen to read it. Otherwise, go to optc-guide.com. You can see this on an actually good resolution and this small little, small little text on the screen. But let's go through actual teams, because I know that's what you want to know. What can you use to actually beat Alkaji? Because everyone has all these characters they want to use. And here's the first one we're going to over, go over is a free-to-play Mihawk slasher team. Now, it is using the Coffin Ship. We're going to be using uh, Momoga and Ryuma as our side slashers. Turn on Dofi special and turn on Usta special. And you do about 1.4 million damage with this team. Now, if you have a Stronghold Shanks or a version 1 Shanks, that will obviously be better than Momoga here, because Momoga and Rima are here only because they have those size slasher stats. Throwing that Dofi against 1.5 million. And so with this team, you have to do 1 million damage on your regular turns against, uh, against Alkaji himself. So you can have 4 turns of doing 280,000 damage. Get a little bit more damage in there, but if you do four turns of 280,000 damage, you get him to 3 million. Use both your Mihawk special, get him 1.5 million. If you have two orbs, you can kill him with all your specials on. Uh, how much stalling can you actually get out? Let me uh, actually write up here. You have about... You have fewer than 23 turn stall. Yeah, there you go. Turns stall. You have fewer than 23 turns. Now, this is actually a pretty high number of stalling. The reason is you can stall for about 17 turns before you get to Alkaji himself. And then you have, uh, depending on what kind of strategy you use and how many hits you take on the first four stages, you have about 17 turns and you show up at Alkaji 
but you don't have to burst down Alkaji until that fifth turn. Like I said, once again, on turn three, Alkaji cuts your health by 80%, so it doesn't matter how much health he has, he won't kill you. So you're getting, as long as you don't push him below 50%, obviously. Um, so you want to take those that first hit on turn three, then kill him on turn five or six. So depending on how you stall, that's about 23 turns. So that's how much you have. If you have your Dothmingo that's higher than 23 turn cooldown, you're going to have a very, very bad time for this fight because Dothmingo and Impact Out Usopp are the two superstars for this fight. If you do not have an Impact Out Usopp, he is farable from Water 7. It is a 1% drop rate as always, and I highly, highly recommend you try to get an Impact Out Usopp. Now let's say you don't have an impact out Usopp or you want to use a different team. We can go over, let's go over, I'm just going to go in order here, a double Rayleigh team. So this double Rayleigh team, let's slip out, switch out my ship to the Merry Go, which gives us 50% damage boost. Uh, with this double Rayleigh team right here, we're going to use Alveda on turn 3 to reduce that damage we take because we are probably going to take a hit or two on that stage. Use Alveda on turn 3 to help you survive that hit and then you can use Alveda again to take a hit from Alkaji, because Alkaji, on his 6th attack, still only attacks for uh, 9,000 damage. So you can take that uh, turn three or turn 6 attack from Alkaji and stall another 3 turns. You can also get him below 50%, but if you do, he starts locking your characters and attacking very tur every turn, and it's a very bad idea. So if you have that Alvia, you can use her on turn 3 and on Alkaji itself, especially if you have her special max. You gotta have her special max for this strategy. Uh, we bring turn on that Garp, turn on that Impact Out Usopp, turn on both of these. We can do a cool 2.1 million damage in one burst. So that is half of Alkaji's health. Once again, you can see the, the, the common thread in this strategy is always to get Alkaji down to half health and then make sure you can burst him down within those next turns. You can see here that our regular damage uh, without orbs is 400,000 damage which means we can definitely get him down to about half health, especially if we get an orb or two here and there. Definitely helps out a lot. Oh, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the wrong damage. We gotta be looking at the Psy. We gotta be doing that damage, not the int damage. Not against Psy, we gotta be doing this one. Boop, boop. Nice, cool amounts of damage. So this is a double Rayleigh team. It's a little bit, a little bit scary, but you can definitely do it. Next team we're gonna be looking at is Double Shanks. Now this is obviously better with two Strong World Shanks because the two Strong World Shanks you not only get the higher chance of getting Psy Orbs but you also get the higher damage from the better Shanks. But this we'll just assume that you don't have the Strong World Shanks you're just using regular Shanks here. We're gonna have, let's just have all of our Orbs on, turn on Impact Out Usopp, turn on Doflamingo and we can do a ton of ton of damage and this is how much damage we can hit with two Shanks. Right, with two Shanks specials you get even more out of it. Now, one thing you really gotta remember with a double strong shanks, or if you're using only one strong shanks and one regular shanks, is you gotta be bringing that Marco. Because if you take that 8% damage cut from Alkiji, you lose out on so much damage. Your damage, that, like, that was, that's half of your damage right there. Just, well, I guess it's not half, obviously, but that's 30% of your damage right there, just out the window, because you lost a lot of your damage boost. So, if you have a double shanks team, you really gotta bring that Markle. After he cuts your health by 80% on that first attack, use Markle right away so that way you can have your regular attacks hit for more damage. Because that's the difference between dealing... Uh, let me turn off my orbs. That's the difference between dealing how much? 400,000 damage a t turn to 200,000 damage a turn. That's just free damage you're losing out right there. You really, really need to bring Marco to help you if you're using strong shanks. It makes a world of a difference. Uh, if you're using a double Garp team, here's an example of a double Garp team. Now, I'm going to reiterate once again so many times, if you're using double Garp, you need to have level 1 silence reduction, or level 1 anti-despair, or level 1 anti-silence, whatever you want to call it. You really, really, really need that level 1 anti-silence for double Garp, because turn 3 is going to silence your captain. If you don't have that, you're going to lose out half your health immediately, and you're going to have a very bad time starting fights at half health. Because you just lost it. It's not going to do you any good. So, you can have a ton of health. You know, you can see we have 400,000 health here. You've got lots of times to take some hits. And you want to actually bring Alkaji down above half health and take some hits after half health. If you have level 2 anti-lock, that helps out a lot, bring up you know, that damage. 
And you actually want to bring Mirage Temple Nami so that way you can uh, negate that 80% hit. You actually want to use Mirage Temple Nami on Alkaji's first attack to stop him from cutting your health by 80%. Because that would be 30,000 damage he's getting rid of right there. Or 30,000 health he's getting rid of right there. Using Mirage Temple Nami once there is much better than using Mirage uh, Alvita to get rid of some damage. So Double Garp, you're not obviously not going to have a much lower burst. We have Kobe and Impact out Usopp on. We only do 1 million damage for the first turn. And let's say we get perfect orbs because we're so lucky. 600,000 damage on the second turn. So, or 40,000 health, not 400k. You know what I mean. Uh, so you obviously have a very, very low amount of damage on this team compared to the others. Uh, even if you use... Garps and reset until you get those perfect orbs. You're only doing about two million damage, and that's only half of Garps, uh, half of Alchemy's health. You gotta get really, really good with those orbs in order to do that damage in two turns. So Garp can definitely bring that burst, but you really gotta get lucky with it. You gotta push very, very hard, and probably gonna have to take some hits before you can get him down there. And then we're gonna be doing double gear three. Now this is gonna be a different version because you remember. Our Rayleigh's, our Gear 3's, our uh, Rayleigh teams like this, Long Luffy, Rayleigh, Whitebeard, Gear 3, they all work the same way. They can all use the same subs. Gear 3, Long Luffy, Whitebeard, Rayleigh, they don't care what their subs are. You can just use the exact same teams. Whitebeard obviously has the easiest time with this, especially since you can just take that first hit. Whitebeard just basically guarantees you're going to be below 30% during that uh, Alkaji fight. But here's a double gear 3 that works a little differently from the way the other Rayleigh team is set up. This team we're actually bringing Golden Pound Usopp. And the reason we're bringing Golden Pound Usopp to this team is this team assumes you have longer cooldowns on your characters. Let's say that we have our Dothmingle at like a 24 turn special or something like that. With this team you actually use Golden Pound Usopp on turn 3. And then you stall out uh, and kill turn three after that anti lock and, I mean, after that lock and despair goes away. And then you kill that turn and then you actually move forward after that. Turn on your specials, you do 2 million damage, which is, once again, half of Alkaji's health. You see the goal right here with all these teams is to hit that 2 million damage mark or to use a special like Mihawk to cut him down and do uh, the other bursts a lot better. So with this team, you obviously have Mihawk. And Nell is your. A replacement for Impact out Usopp because you can't bring Impact and Golden Pound at the same time. And you can't bring, uh, obviously, Liar Wolf Zor, uh, Usopp. Liar Wolf is a replacement for Impact out Usopp on some of these teams, but you have to remember that Liar Wolf Usopp, Liar Wolf oh, Usopp. Where is he? Where is our Liar Wolf Usopp? There he is. Remember, Lionel's Usopp's damage is only 75% uh, boost, so it's obviously not as good as Impact Out Usopp, but it's still better than Anel's, who is only a 50% boost. So if you have that Liar Wolf Usopp, you can definitely bring him, but it's not as good as Impact Out Usopp, and Anel gives you the raw stats. So that is another replacement if you don't have Impact Out Usopp ready on your teams, guys. Uh, those are the, recommend the teams that I recommend. That, once again, is double Mihawk, double Rayleigh, Long Luffy, Gear 3, Whitebeard, whatever. Double Shanks, double Garp, or a the second form of double Gear 3 with the Golden Pound Usopp to stall for longer. <clears throat> now, I obviously didn't go over Sengoku. I obviously didn't go over double Inthawk. You can see those teams in my other Alkaji walkthrough videos with me actually fighting Alkaji if you need some help. But this video is just wanting to give you an idea of what teams you can use and some other ideas in case you're trying to build a team of your own. I am Zinigami. Remember that subs are whatever you make them. You're, you know your teams. You know your accounts better than I do. Good luck on Alkaji. I will not be here. I will actually be in out of town for this fight. I'll actually be skiing. So I'll be enjoying the beautiful snow while you guys are fighting Alkaji. I will get a couple copies myself and I might do a short stream. Uh, but no promises. I am Zinigami. Y'all stay beautiful.